On the morning of October 23, 1968, United States Marine Corps pilot, Lieutenant Colonel Robert Gay, and Sikorsky test pilot Byron Graham climbed into the cockpit of a Marine Corps Sikorsky CH-53A Sea Stallion helicopter, a routine familiar to both men. This flight, however, was to be far from routine. A few minutes later, over Long Island Sound, before a handful of observers, they put the big bird through a series of maneuvers uncommon for a helicopter and unprecedented for a rotorcraft of this size. First, they rolled the aircraft. Here it is in slow motion. They entered the roll at an altitude of 1,500 feet and a speed of 143 knots, registered 1,650 feet, 117 knots at the inverted position, and 1,675 feet, 107 knots at the finish. Time elapsed for the complete roll, six seconds. Then they arced the CH-53 through, through a series of loops both maneuvers were flown at a gross weight of 27,000 pounds in a fully instrumented production aircraft. The test was part of a joint Naval Air Systems Command Sikorsky flight program to investigate the 53A's rotor system dynamics and maneuverability characteristics. Vital requirements for safety, survivability, and for getting in and out of confined areas. Here was proof that in addition to being the free world's biggest and fastest helicopter, the 53A is as maneuverable as copters only one-tenth its size, and more maneuverable than fixed wing transports of comparable size. Here is the loop in slow motion. Altitude at entry was 1,150 feet, speed 158 knots. At the top of the loop, the aircraft reached 1,865 feet. Speed slowed to 81 knots. G-factor at the peak was 1.1. The maximum load factor, 2.65 Gs, was attained in the final leveling off. Altitude at the completion of the loop was 920 feet. Speed, 130 knots. Total